Hey, folks, my guest today is Anakik Bajpai. He's the co-founder and head of growth at LimeChat, the leading provider of customer support automation and conversational commerce for e-commerce brands. Anakit, are you ready to take us to the top? Yeah, definitely. All right. So the website is LimeChat.ai. Tell me about who you're selling to. Yeah. So we basically uh, target mid and large size e-commerce brands globally. So these are brands which have their own website on Shopify, and we help them kind of give their visitors a very guided buying experience on their website and also leverage conversational channels like WhatsApp, Messenger, iMessage to give a complete end-to-end -end buying journey. And so Anika, when you sign me. these customers up, what are they paying on average per month to use your technology? Uh, they pay around $1,000 a month, $500 to $1,000, depending on their size. Of course, it is uh, pay-as-you-go based on the usage that they do, but that is the typical amount that we pay. How do you measure usage? Uh, so we charge on the basis of number of conversations that happen on our platform, uh, right? Since we give a guided buying experience, which is essentially a conversation with their users. So we charge on the basis of number of conversations that we have. I see. And how many customers are you now working with today? We're working with 60 brands now, currently. Six zero? Yes. And when did you guys launch? When did you get your first customer? We, we launched just around a year back in September 2020. We started in March and we got a first customer in September. First customer? Who was the first customer? Do you remember? Yes, yes. It is a brand called Bella Vita Organic. We're uh, very happy to be working with them right now as well. And we're constantly in touch with them. They have actually also grown more than 10x in the past one year because the e-commerce brand space has been booming. But it has been an absolute pleasure. Now, can we take 60 customers today paying 500 a month? You guys are doing about $30,000 a month in revenue. Is that right? Yes, that's about right. And where were you doing exactly a year ago in November of 2020? Um, in November of 2020, we just had four to five customers with whom we were working very closely to build our product to achieve product market fit. So in terms of revenue, we were, we were at uh, roughly two or $3,000 a month. That's incredible. Yeah. So you guys are obviously growing really nicely here now up to 60 customers. Have you done all this Anakit bootstrapped or did you decide to raise? Uh, we we did raise a convertible note last year. Uh, so yeah, we are not bootstrapped uh, in this particular startup. Right. We actually got selected into Y Combinator as well. But we uh, so we raised from there and we were able to raise a convertible note after that. So that is what has gotten us going. We didn't dilute too much in this entire process. Mm -hmm. And so when you how much did you raise in your pre-seed last year? Right. So we raised around 750k uh, USD and uh, we, we raised it as a convertible note at an uncapped uh, valuation and a discount of 20% to the next round's valuation. Yep. When do you think you might be doing a next round so we know what that actually becomes worth equity-wise? Yes, yes. We will be doing the next round very soon in the next one or two months. Uh, oh, oh okay. So you're basically, I mean, you're basically raising now then. How much do you want to raise? Yes, yes. We're raising okay. around 4 to $5 million at around a uh, $20 million valuation because we want to grow really, really fast. We feel that we have achieved product market fit and we just want to push the pedal. So, so yeah, we're actively looking to raise. Do you have a lead investor yet? Uh, yeah, we're in talks with several people. No. I see. And, and, and do you think you'll be able to get a $20 million valuation doing 360000 a year right now in revenue? That's a fairly substantial revenue multiple. Yes, yes. Uh, I, I believe that since we have a very, uh, very good growth rate, we're growing at 30 to 40 percent month on month since the past six to seven months and we can kind of take a forward multiple when the round will actually close it will already be three months and our rev revenue will double at least so we're kind of taking a multiple on, on that right and that is how we're kind of justifying the valuation tell me more about the strategy you guys are using you have a very specific niche you're targeting these e-commerce brands how are you going from yes. five customers last year to 60 today and to 600 next year hopefully yes yes so we have two ma major acquisition channels. Uh, one is through Shopify and the Shopify ecosystem, which is a group of communities and like blogs and uh, basically word of mouth because the Shopify ecosystem is super connected. And of course, you kind of get some inbound leads to Shopify. So that is one major source of leads for us. The second How many is leads also, do you get per month from Shopify? Um, current, we have just started a Shopify approach, so we get around 5 to 10 leads per month. The, the majority of our leads actually come through our outbound approach. We get around 30 leads per month at least through that. And that is through sending outbound messages on email, LinkedIn, stuff like that. 
to what clients. what job titles do you target on linkedin uh we sell to the vp of marketing and the vp of customer support right because we have two products now internally one is a remarketing product and one is a customer support automation bot so for for these we target these two personas respectively okay and what's that first message sound like give me a flavor of it sure uh so let me tell you, uh, if i talk about the customer support automation product uh it basically it uh, it says that you uh, customer support giving good customer support being in touch with your customers is important and uh, you if you actually want to do that you no longer need to put 10 to 15 agents right and pay them $50,000 a year to do that you can just have one human and you can put line chart spot and you can get incredible uh you can give consistent incredible support to all all of your customers and improve your retention and this is being used by a, a lot of top 8 and 9 figure brands in the world like mama or two house consents so uh, like if you if this sounds interesting to you please jump on a call and let's move ahead right that feels like a really long message to send as a cold message on linkedin is is that really what right, you right. send if it's it's a lot of text like that um i of course the message is this was like uh this had a lot of points in the which is actually sent in the first three messages uh the main uh the main thing we focus on is the value and the clients that we have in just two to three lines right the copywriting is obviously much much better there but but yeah like the 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 one liner is that you can give great customer support experience and spend no additional amount i right. see Anakit Tech take me back to to when you guys got going is it just you or how many founders do you have Yes we have I have another founder there are two founders both of us yeah two founders and did you guys split equity 50 50 at the start Yes yes And so today obviously we don't you still own 50 50 because the 750k you raised hasn't converted to equity yet right Yes yes Yeah but you anticipate yeah, We do have an ESOP uh, right so that is one part which is uh, How big is that like, yeah. we we allocated 10% as an ESOP pool because we uh, yeah we want to uh, give our employees a much bigger share in the ownership and we have around 20 employees now oh wow okay so to, you yeah. you own 45% your co-founder owns 45% you have a 10% ESOP pool and you have 20 employees right now right right how many engineers um i would say around 10 to 12 engineers and, and where are they all based anikit uh we are based in bangalore in india What's it like? I you know, I want to get over there. I hear so many great founders building companies in Pune, Chennai. We have Freshworks IPOing, we've got Covai 360 with Saravana. It just there's so much energy over there. What's it like? Right. So, uh for the entire Indian startup ecosystem, there are several nodes, but Bangalore is like the central hub, uh, right? And the weather is obviously great like Silicon Valley, uh but uh the startup ecosystem especially is awesome, especially for SaaS. Uh right, there are a lot of great SaaS companies here like Quadfix and a uh, slinter and a lot a lot of them right uh, they have of, of obviously not reached ipo level like freshworks but they are pretty pretty big like in terms of arr and uh, the uh, the main thing is the energy right uh, there is an area in bangalore where like even if you go in a cafe you will find people discussing their startup because that area is filled with uh, entrepreneurs and startup founders and folks who are working at startups so so that is something which makes it very very exciting each and every day to be surrounded by people like that to surrounded to be surrounded with the best uh, talented folks who are putting their energies in the right direction that is it sounds sounds like a lot of fun let's wrap up here with the famous five on it number one favorite business book uh the hard thing about hard things number two is there a ceo you're following or studying uh we're following jeff bezos i'm number and number three what's your favorite online tool for building lime chat Mm-hmm. um slack is definitely uh super useful yeah number 4 how many hours of sleep do you get every night i sleep 7 and a half hours every every night that's good and what's your situation <laughs> married single kids i'm single okay no kids how old are you i'm 25 26 uh 25 oh 25 okay great last question what's something you wish you knew when you were 20 mm. I mean there are definitely a lot of things but the main thing is that you should uh pick pick the absolute right people to work with because uh like it, uh, the the idea the problem or what you're doing 
is all secondary but the people whom you work with that uh, that that defines the output and that makes you have the most fun right if you pick the right people Mm -hmm. Guys, LimeChat.ai, AI chat bot for e-commerce brands. They were doing $3,000 a month in revenue a year ago, now doing $30,000 a month, 10x year over year growth. They raised 750,000 seed last year, uncapped, now targeting a $4 million raise at a $20 million valuation. We'll see if they can get it done. Team of 20 building in Bangalore, again, scaling up uh, into these mid-market and enterprise accounts. Anakit, thank you for taking us to the top. Awesome. Great, ha great coming to your podcast. One more thing before you go. We have a brand new show every Thursday at 1 p.m. Central. It's called Shark Tank for SaaS. We call it Deal or Bust. One founder comes on, three hungry buyers. They try and do a deal live, and the founder shares back-end dashboards, their expenses, their revenue, ARPU, CAC, LTV, you name it, they share it. And the buyers try and make a deal live. It is fun to watch every Thursday, 1 p.m. Central. Additionally, remember, these recorded founder interviews go live. We release them here on YouTube every day at 2 p.m. Central. To make sure you don't miss any of that, make sure you click the subscribe button below here on YouTube, the big red button, and then click the little bell notification to make sure you get notifications when we do go live. I wouldn't want you to miss breaking news in the SaaS world, whether it's an acquisition, a big fundraise, a big sale, a big profitability statement, or something else. I don't want you to miss it. Additionally, if you want to take this conversation deeper and further, we have by far the largest private Slack community for B2B SaaS founders. You want to get in there. We've probably talked about your tool if you're running a company or your firm if you're investing. You can go in there and quickly search and see what people are saying. Sign up for that at nathanlacka.com forward slash Slack. In the meantime, I'm hanging out with you here on YouTube. I'll be in the comments for the next 30 minutes. Feel free to let me know what you thought about this episode. And if you enjoyed it, click the thumbs up. We get a lot of haters that are mad at how aggressive I am on these shows, but I do it so that we can all learn. We have to counter those people. We got to push them away. Click the thumbs up below to counter them and know that I appreciate your guys' support. All right, I'll be in the comments. See ya.